This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, May 24th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, it appears that we've had four M flares thus far today. Our first M flare was right here at 6.30 UTC time, and it was an M1.45. That was followed by an M1 right here at 8 UTC time immediately followed by an M1.2 right here at 8.08 UTC time. Now, after that, we had two C flares. You can barely see them. A C9.3 and a C9.6. They almost made it to be M flares, but not quite. After that, just recently, as a matter of fact, in the last hour, we've had an additional M1.4. Now, this has not been assigned a sunspot group, but all of these solar flares, I believe, came from the same sunspot group, AR3679. And I don't think they're a huge deal because AR3679 is mostly around the far limb. All right, here is a summary of events without the last... M1.41 that occurred about 20 UTC time. It is not yet up on the board. So we're at spaceweatherlive.com running a C3.19 baseline. 60% chance of an M class flare today. And as you see, most every flare that's substantial has come out of 3679. And I will show you all that that is mostly around the far limb, and I don't think that any of that will be geo-effective, although it might because of our geomagnetic connection to that limb. I believe that the planets on that side of our sun are actually causing more activity out of 36779 being Jupiter and Venus. So, ladies and gentlemen, there is sunspot 3679. You can just barely still see it. It's about to go around the far limb where we'll have a break from it. Although we have the behemoth sunspots already coming around the limb. Uh, I don't believe this has been named yet. This is 3690, this little black spot under here. So this is yet to be named, although I'm sure it has been named by now. This was taken at 706 this morning. Over two goes solar ultraviolet imager i wanted to prove to you that that last m 1.41 came from that same sunspot ar3679 and i don't believe it will be very geoeffective towards earth all it's got going for us is our geomagnetic connection to that limb i'd also like to point out that we have a coral hole earth facing currently which means we could see an uptick in solar winds within the next 40 to 48 hours. Over to Alaska, C3, taking a look at what's going on around here. We do have a lot of missing time. We can see several CMEs, plasma going every which direction. A lot of this could be backside, like that huge explosion there. And I will show you the backside of the sun. They do remove a lot of time again here. Let's see if we can find that. There it is there. Uh, 1654 to 2118. So four hours and 20 minutes has been removed from this. And you can see there was a heck of an explosion going on. And our explosion happened at 20 UTC time. The last M flare which is during the period they've removed here. And again, this is Venus and Jupiter here. 
uh, a day after their conjunction. Over to our D region absorption prediction center. This is going to be a C flare here over the Atlantic. Good dose of radiation for everyone today. We'll take a look at uh, another C flare. We'll take a look at the flare that occurred right about now. And that's going to be the M1.41 is where I believe it stands now. Although it was probably much larger because that sunspot group is mostly around the limb as 3679. You can see how much radiation is pouring down on our planet. Take a look at the back side of our sun. We have the old sunspots that gave us all the X-flares coming around and they're even larger and more complex. AR3654 and AR3655, I believe. And they're shown here in gray and purple. We have several other sunspot groups also coming around. There will be multiple sunspot groups Earth facing very shortly. And next week will show a large uptick in extremely strong solar flares, or it sure should. No solar winds or plasma is hitting the planet whatsoever. It's been very calm for several days now. This is our estimated planetary KP index out of NOAA and NASA. And as you can see, the biggest print we had all day was a 3.33. Although it did look like we had a lot of plasma coming out of all parts of our sun. I want you all to get a look at the sunspot group. It's basically reverse polarity in this area here with white over black. That is AR3679 going around the limb. This was taken at 2100 UTC time, so just a few hours ago at 2 p.m. Central. We can also see this behemoth coming around. It's reverse polarity. The negatives over the positive in the northern hemisphere, nothing that we want to deal with or see, but it has not been named as far as I know. It will be causing a lot of havoc for Earth over the next 12 days as it transits our solar disk. Take a look at Soho, 284 angstroms. We can see that behemoth coming around. This was taken at 6.06 .06 this morning. We could still see AR3679 that caused every flare today. Very strange how this has really caused no flaring whatsoever. And then we do have a large crawl hole, as discussed, Earth facing here, that has a good chance of sending solar winds towards Earth in the next day or two. Over to NASA's Goodard Spiral, they seem to have modeled a small CME coming out of the limb here and going in a southern direction. It does look like they have Earth being hit by plasma, and that's going to be, well, it looks like in or around the 31st. It also looks like they think we just got hit, but we did not. And finally, the planets today, well, our moon is behind Earth, and we have a Beautiful line up here with the Sun, Venus, Jupiter, and Uranus. Uh, we also have all of the other planets offsetting in a very small part of our solar system. I'm really surprised we're not seeing more earthquake and volcanic activity than we are. Uh, I do expect an uptick in that as well when these sunspots do come around. Actually, they already are coming around. So the next 12 days to 14 days is going to be difficult to say the least. So in summary, four M flares, a 145, a 1, a 1, 2, a couple of very strong C flares, a 9.3 and a 9.6, and an M1.4 at 20 UTC that's not reflected here, but we know it came from 3679 because we did see it ourselves on our Go Solar Ultraviolet Imager. With that said, God bless each and every one of you guys. Get ready for these sunspots coming around. They're so complex, so large, and so active. 
we're going to have about 14 days of heck and there's a great chance that some of the solar flares will create coronal mass ejections that impact Earth. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.